If you have ever taken a standardized test in your life, then you know how stressful and grueling taking standardized tests are. If you are an American student in a public school, you have taken almost 113 standardized tests. That is 113 stressful and horrible days that you will never, ever get back. According to the Washington Post, the amount of standardized tests given in the U.S. has exploded in the last decade. President Obama is working on the situation, but it is not enough. We need to fix standardized testing and the system so students do not feel overwhelmed and stressed anymore. This is outrageous, people. Let's get it together. Did you know America puts so much emphasis on these tests that students are overwhelmed to the point where students are hospitalized for anxiety? On March 14, 2002, the Sacramento Bee reported that test-related jitters, especially among young students, are so, so common that the Stanford 9 exam comes with instructions on what to do with the test if someone vomits. What is up with our society today? According to the Big Think article named Standardized Testing, the Monster That Ate American Education, in theory, Standardized tests are one of the most useful tools for figuring out if this child really needs more time with fractions. But too many educational reformers have come to see test scores as the goal of learning rather than an instrument of assessing. This system is broken. Can't you tell? Teachers know it. Students definitely know it. And now public figures are starting to realize that standardized testing needs to change. One public figure trying to make a change is President Obama. President Obama is trying to change the amount of standardized testing given to students. President Obama states that learning is about much more than just filling in the right bubble. And I definitely agree. In the article USA Today, President Obama states that he wants to curb excess testing. He recommended limiting standardized exams to no more than 2% of a student's instructional time in the classroom. Before this change, standardized testing was taking up 2.3% of school time. Additionally, our own Catholic schools have been trying to improve Common Core. The Cardinal Newman Society, a Catholic advocacy organization, has been advising Catholic institutions to fight Common Core. It is a violation of the purpose of the human person as created by God because God wanted to communicate a love of learning and the excellence of a good moral life through the gospel of Jesus Christ. Human dignity is being violated to a degree because it affects how a person values themselves based on one test score compared to others. A person's worth is not determined by one score, and it shouldn't be. Natural law, Old Testament, New Testament, church law, and civil law are not being violated, but standardized testing is still a concern. This act is sinful in spirit and in the harm that it causes to a child's confidence. It can cause a child to not believe in themselves and can prevent them from reaching their academic achievements. Jesus' teachings concentrate on teaching us to be good Christians and living a good moral life. When we solely focus on a standardized test score, we've sacrificed following Jesus' teachings. The magisterium's view on the issue is that there should be more to think about than a score on a standardized test. The vices of standardized tests is that we are creating stressed, unhappy students who want to drop out of school because they are afraid of the importance of standardized tests. Instead, we should develop happy, healthy, moral kids who want to lead a good life and go to college. Finally, reforming the system is a work in progress, but if we come together and work on the problem, we can help our society for the better. Thank you for listening.